So next, uh, we are going to discuss about seed analysis. So every seed we are going to analyze whether it is quality or it is not in quality. So seed analysis, optimum crop stand establishment depends upon quality of seed used and soil environment in which it is sown. Seed testing, it is the procedure for obtaining reliable information on five aspects of seeds quality, viability, purity, vigor, seed health and presence of noxious weed seed. Viability testing. So viability testing, whether it will be viable or not viable. So quality or not quality, we are going to check it. So seed viability is the capacity of non-dormant seed to germinate under favorable conditions. Petri disc roll towel test is done to test the viability of seed. Trezolium test. So it's a very important test for to test the quality of seed. It's the calorimetric test in which a biochemical reaction causes the test solution to change color under certain conditions. Tetrazolium test is around 2-3-5 tripani. Tetrazolium chloride solution is colorless but changes to reaction of uh, insoluble compound called formagant upon being reduced by hydrogen ion. Viable seeds will change color to red, dead or non respiring uh, seeds remain colorless. This test is quick and reliable. Seed purity, it's the percentage of pure seed, seed without contaminants in the sample tested. Contaminants include uh, seeds of other crops, weed seed and insert matter. Pure line seed, pure line seed is PLS, it's the percentage of desired cultivar that will germinate. It's the function of both percent purity and percent germination, it's calculated in percent. So what is the formula for that you are going to call the pure line seed, percent PLS equal to Percentage germination into percentage purity, uh, purity divided by 100. Seed vigor. It indicates the properties of seed that determine its potential for rapid uniform. Rapid is nothing but quick. Rapid uniform emergence and development of normal seedlings under a wide range of field conditions. It's influenced by genetic factors and external environment condition during seed development and maturity. An environment of high temperature and humidity adversely affects the seed vector. Then what is the health of that? Actually, we are uh, seeing that human being health, it will be uh, affected by uh, some disease like fever or headache. Same like that, the health of the seed is very important because the plant growing. So it evaluates the presence of pathogens and insect test uh, on the seed. Seed health may be evaluated visually, changing test of color, presence of spores, etc. After incubating on an appropriate medium for disease development, it can also be determined by biochemical tests such as enzyme-linked immunosment assay, ELISA. Seed dormancy. It induced or secondary dormancy. Some seeds may achieve uh, dormancy due to interaction of seed with environment temperature. Such dormancy may be <coughs> continued even after the removal of seed from such environment. When the dormant imbibed seeds are buried deep in soil, inadequate light, temperature, excess carbon dioxide or a combination of this may induce the dormancy. Such dormancy lasts until the seed experiences its condition nature to break it. Enforced dormancy. Uh, so some seeds have dormancy thrust. Thrust means you are having some, uh, for example, uh, plant need water. So water is the thrust for the plant as well as human being. So, due to conditions of inadequate oxygen, excess carbon dioxide, cold temperature, ethylene, etc., induced by human or nature is called enforced or environmental dormancy. Non dormant seeds fail to germinate, fail to reproduce under such force unfavorable condition. Wheat seeds buried deep in the soil are put under enforced dormancy. Next, relative dormancy. Certain varieties of lettuce germinate well at 20 degrees Celsius or below. However, they are dormant at high temperature, thermal dormancy and require light germination. Epicotyl dormancy. Some spices of plants sow. Epitocle dormancy, combination of root and epitocial dormancy or double dormancy as in the case of sanguinarius SPS. This can be overcome by moist storage at 1.0 to 10 degrees Celsius. For two or three months after the seed has germinated to form a root. Uh, next, multiple dormancy. Some seed required passage of one cold period for the after ripening of radical 
an embryo embryo you everyone know it's an egg so during the next summer the radical emergers and the become established however the epithelial uh, remains dormant until the passage of another cold period so these are the types of the dormancy relative dormancy epithelial dormancy multiple dormancy so these are the dormancy very important to grow the plant as well as i mean grow the seeds for the particular plant next we are going to discuss uh, national seed projects in the next lecture thank you all